And you worked, you worked very, I, I know from working with you that you worked very, very hard throughout the application process and you had great results. Would you tell us why you ultimately decided to attend Harvard? Uh, there are two reasons. Uh, first, I wanted to well, I wanted to choose a school which is uh, which has a great course for general manager. Mm -hmm. This is related to the, my second point in the previous question. Mm -hmm. I want to be the entrepreneur or general manager of the new businesses. So mm -hmm. I do not want to be the CFO or marketing manager. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. to be a uh, skilled mm -hmm. CEO, uh, I think I thought that the Harvard would offer me the best classes. The second, is, uh, second reason is a uh, much more personal thing because uh, mm -hmm. I just married with my wife and mm -hmm. I wanted to choose kind of a safe or a good environment for mm -hmm. her and mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. So Boston is a very safe and uh, comfortable place mm -hmm. which uh, I do not have to use car to get around. Mm -hmm. So for those two reasons I thought uh, Harvard is the best choice for me. Great. Um, I, be, uh, I think uh, the, the viewers would be interested to hear a little bit more about your methods um, in applying. Um, for example, your personal best practices um, throughout your test prep and the overall application process. What were some tips that you would like to share? So I want to share two tips. Uh, the first one would be is very uh, fundamental or basic things uh, to purchase or have netbook or at least uh, iPhone. Mm. It is uh, very convenient too because uh, I can work with uh, essays or mm. some test preps uh, even if uh, I'm on the train mm. or I, mm. I'm waiting for airplane. Mm. Anywhere uh, mm. I can do the internet. Mm. And of course, Google helps me to do everything. <laughs> so, purchasing a notebook would be was a really good choice for me. So, by contracting with mobile company like eMobile or Docomo, I can mm. purchase I, mm. I purchase just a notebook without paying anything. So, Great. purchasing a notebook to uh, use all the time, mm. all the kind of. Mm. Mm. Uh, Potentially wasted time mm, mm, mm. by using Netbook or iPhone is a really important thing. Great. Um, second thing is that something uh, unique, but uh, I think the most uh, high ROI <laughs> practice, which is uh, kind of listening to podcasts uh, when doing jogging. Um. Uh, actually, I was I practiced for the triathlon uh, last. Since I joined the, the big race on June, you ran a triathlon. Triathlon. So wow. I attended the longest race called IM in Japan, wow. which is uh, like a four-kilometer swim and a hundred eighty-kilometer bike and a full marathon, which is a crazy race. <laughs> <laughs> so to try for that, I can run three or four times a week, which is a 10 to 50 kilometers, so like one, point, one or 1.5 hours. Wow. Uh, during that period, I always uh, listen to uh, podcasts like Wall Street Journal. Mm. It is a really good uh, practice for the, it's a really good uh, mm. Uh, mm. practice for the MBA prep. There are a lot of reasons. The first, of course, I could uh, improve my listening skills. Mm. And, uh, when I, when I, when we do jobs, uh, we do have nothing as of hearing. Uh, so uh, uh. it is a very kind of a intention time for me. Uh. And also to do jogging, uh, hearing something, it might kind of ease uh, my uh, tension. Uh. So it was a really both beneficial. Uh. And also finally, uh, I got result or trials and complement of trials, and so mm. I could use the uh, story to the essays mm. application mm. Uh, mm. format. So mm. in many ways, uh, kind of uh, listening, doing jogging, <laughs> uh, gave me a benefit. 
Yeah, it sounds like multiple benefits. Yeah. Um, nice. And without embarrassing you, didn't you get a, a perfect listening score on TOEFL? Yeah, uh, I could get uh, 30 on my kind of uh, average score, so like 29 or something like that. Great. Good work. <laughs> um, looking back now, you started working more than one year ago on your application process. So, looking back on the lessons you learned, what surprised you most about the overall process? What do you know now that you wish you knew then? And, uh, again, two things. The first thing is that the, the application is a really long process. So, I thought that the kind of essay is everything, but it's really not. So, other than essay, uh, I have to fill out the application format, which is uh, we have to enter a lot of information. Mm -hmm. And other than the kind of uh, school names or uh, GPA scores, uh, we have to kind of tell, uh, give information about my club activities mm -hmm. or social activities. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are plenty of spaces, like 200, uh, uh, characters or mm. 400 characters. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I noticed that the application format takes so long time, it was kind of it was September, so <laughs> I was uh, surprised. I, I finally managed it, but uh, I wish I had that. I had knew that, uh, known that uh, before mm. I go to the go into this application process. And the second thing is. Uh, Kind of comparison. Uh, the interview invitation timing has no relationship with result. Mm. Actually, I was uh, invited by Wharton in the very last minute mm. Mm. of the for the interview, mm. but mm. Uh, finally I got the good result. Mm. So mm. when I was waiting for the kind of interview invitation, I was. Totally nervous, and mm -hmm. I saw that it's almost. Uh, I almost ding, but mm -hmm. <laughs> it was not. So if I knew that <laughs> the invitation <laughs> timing is has totally no relationship with the result, I could spend more easier time, <laughs> easier time. So it is a really important thing for the new applicants. This is a surprise question I didn't write down before, so don't, you don't have to answer if you're uncomfortable. But um, do you are you do you feel okay talking about your interview experience at Kellogg, which was uh, uh, not a, a successful mm -hmm. story, but I think might be useful for people who are mm -hmm. nervous about interviews mm -hmm. or how to prepare for interviews? Do you mind talking about that? Yeah, uh, actually, I. Uh, did the interview with Kerok on uh, November uh, when mm. I visited the campus. Mm, mm. Uh, that's because uh, I thought that the uh, Kerok uh, committee will think good of me because I there came to Kerok <laughs> using 15 hours. But actually, it was not uh, since uh, Kerok is kind of an open interviewing school, so mm -hmm. they welcome mm -hmm. everybody who want mm -hmm. to have an interview. So. Mm -hmm. They, I think that uh, they really do not care uh, about uh, uh, uh. where the interviewee, uh, interviewee uh, came from. Uh, uh, so uh. the result was uh, really not good. But uh, on the other hand, uh, in the bottom, I chose the uh, alumni interview. Uh. And uh, it was good because uh, I could spend uh, some time for the kind of researching about mm. interviewer. Mm. The viewer's name is open, so I had time to mm. prepare and make a strategy. So for some people who is not very good at the English, uh, choosing Armana would be the good choice. Of course for Wotan and I think for Kerak also. Do you think your Kellogg interview experience influenced the way you prepared for your Harvard interview? Yeah, it might be uh, because uh, 
before the result was sent to me, I knew that uh, it is, I almost failed because uh, the communication was totally bad. So after that, I spent, I think, more time than mm -hmm. the, before the visit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was actually a good uh, experience mm -hmm. for me. Do you remember what um, what do you remember from your Harvard interview? What what are the memories now that you're looking back on it that, that stood out for you in terms of advice you would give to people who might have a Harvard interview? Yeah, uh, I think the the first thing it it's a completely only sudden means interview. So the uh, uh, interviewer uh, put uh, her watch mm. in front of me and uh, uh. we have only started means. Mm. So it's a not long process. But actually I saw I think that the, I saw think uh, I answered fifteen questions. So it's a very intensive time. Mm. But uh, since the interviewer kind of uh, knew everything about me, mm. it is mm. the conversation mm. itself is really smooth and natural. Mm. So mm. if uh, if the applicant uh, prepare enough for the interview, the interview itself is not harsh or tough one. So that is my that's my feeling after the interview. I recently heard someone say that um, they recommend applicants, people applying for MBA, practice ten hours for for every one hour of training with a counselor. They recommend that the applicant practice 10 hours by himself. Does that sound like about what you did? Does that 10 to 1 sort of ratio match your prep? Uh, I use uh, plenty of time preparing for the interview because uh, after I finished the first round the uh, mm. essays on the mid-October, mm. I spent the months uh, mm. for only for the interview. Mm. I did not do any, almost any essays for mm. Uh, mm. round two. Mm. Mm. So I think I used more than 10 hours. And especially if people, for the people who is not kind of uh, strong at making presentation or mm. interviewing, uh, it is better to spend as much time as possible. I, I was personally not not bothered uh, doing presentation or interview, but I spent uh, more than ten hours. How did you prepare for interview? You had a very interesting method and ultimately very successful. So, sure, yeah, I kind of uh, did uh, kind of a mock interview with a lot of people, including mm. the counselors or some other alumni. Mm -hmm. So. Doing so is really important because uh, uh, people who do not know me uh, give me kind of very fresh questions. Uh, uh, so it uh, is uh, uh, really important. And uh, of course, the interviewer is always fresh <laughs> to the applicant interviewee. So uh, I recommend applicants to have a lot of mock interview with counselors, uh, uh, friends. Mm. Oh, mm. Mm. That's great advice. Okay, shifting to the future. Um, thinking about the, about the impact, um, how do you plan to use your MBA to help Japan and the world? I think uh, I I'm sure I have the only short to midterm goals. So, which is uh, on my essays. Mm. So, I plan to use my management skill to kind of develop the uh, public-private partnership business mm. in Japan. Mm. Uh, so, this is related to the, my motivation for the MBA. The, my uh, last venture was kind of a public-private partnership. PPP mm. star company, mm. but uh, it mm. failed. So mm. Mm. I want to try again, and uh, I really uh, believe that it helps Japan for, to get out of the huge deficit mm. we have there. Uh, 
kind of a countless uh, deficit in Japan, and uh, by doing some government work which is operated poorly, uh, instead of government doing the, if that is covered by private companies, well skilled private companies, I think it helped Japan to get up the huge deficit. So I would like to use my management skill to manage the venture in that field. Nice. Um, so um, I'll just sort of jump to the end now because it's been really great. And you've, I think you've said a lot of really useful things. So is there anything else you'd like to say or, or mention either in English or Japanese for, um, for those who are watching this video? Yeah, uh, I think the application process is a kind of a crazy process because every school uh, want to see themselves as a special school. <laughs> so if we want to manage a five to seven school application, it is a crazy round, <laughs> crazy process. But so we have to enjoy the application process. So the listening, the podcast doing learning is one of the example. So I enjoy those kinds of things pretty much. And other than that, I enjoy meeting with people. Uh, so meeting with alumni mm. and going to the party held by school and talk with uh, other applicant alumni. It was really uh, exciting uh, or enjoyable moment for me. So to enjoy such kind of peace, the application process by uh, changing mind or doing something special is really important to enter the process and get a good result. So I think it's a really important thing for the breakouts. Great. Um, any last, any, anything else in Japanese or, <laughs> or English? Any sort of message? Um, uh, most of them want to see us. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.